In this video, I'm going to go over the basic steps for creating a short documentary using WeVideo. I want to begin by going to the folder that I've designated for my documentary. Um, before I made this video, started this video, I have taken some media and uploaded it into my account. So if I look under my documentary under shared media, I have a list of video clips, including two clips I got off the internet. I went to YouTube and used the website KeepVid to download them as MP4 files and then uploaded them into my Wii Video account. This gives me some kind of B-roll footage that I can use to just add to my interview. I have also a clip of a guest speaker that came into the high school. This clip is him telling his experiences in Poland during World War II when the Nazis were there. And he was a small child at the time. So we have uh, footage of him talking to the students, but there's not much else going on other than him standing there talking. So what we can do is we can listen to his words and use these other bits of media to add a little bit of extra color to his story. Uh, below that I have some different pictures that I found online that kind of fit the era and the theme of the story. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create video and this will open the Wii Video Editor. Once the Wii Video Editor is opening, I'm going to make sure that I am on the correct editor and I look at the top left. I'm looking at Timeline A, which stands for Timeline Advanced, and this is the editor I want to use. Now under Videos, it starts off showing me all the different videos I have. I'm going to click on Shared to go right to the media that I have just for this project. Now I'm going to grab this video clip here. I'm going to drop it down here. Now this is a short video clip. It's only about a minute long, but I'm just going to kind of use this as an example. So this video is of this presenter sharing their personal experiences. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as the basis of my project. And I'm going to then add other media to kind of add to it. So what I can do is I can come up here to these other video clips if I want. So this is one on um, Polish refugees. Um, leaving during the war, and there's Germany invading. I can bring these in and resize these clips so they work for my project. So I'm going to bring in this Germany one, and I'm going to put it on video one. The reason I'm doing this is because I want this video clip on this layer. I want to have this middle layer in case I want to put something else in like a background. Now, right now, both the video clips will play at the same time, but I don't want that. Now, I'm going to click on this video clip, and what it does, it highlights it, and it gives me these little controllers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten this clip way down so that it fits my project a little bit better. So I'm going to click that, shorten this clip so it'll work. So I want just a couple seconds of footage in the background. So if I have this, and I can grab this handle too to resize it. But I have this small clip that will show when I'm playing the interview. So I'm going to click preview and you're going to see some of the speaker and then it's going to switch to that video clip. Now you can see, you can still hear the original speaker, but now this video clip has kind of come to the forefront and we don't see the other video anymore. We still hear both though. Now if I don't want to hear the audio that goes with this first video clip, I can just click on the edit button. And under those settings, there's going to be one called volume, and I can mute that clip. When I click done, now when I play this clip, we only hear the original speaker. We do not hear the video, the audio that goes with this video. So this allows us the opportunity to add short clips of video to go along with the speaker we're using. Now, other things I can do with this is if I move this clip around, I can create room for another video clip, or I can add photos. So I'm going to go to my shared photos that I have for this project. I grab some different pictures to show different things I thought would um, kind of work with his story. Now, he and his family were Jewish, Polish citizens, and they were displaced. They were pushed out of their homes. And this is a picture of some of those people. There's a picture of some Nazis coming through. There's a picture of some SS officers, which they talked about. The SS actually showed up at their houses. And I'm going to add a picture of the German tanks rolling in. Now what this does is now allows you to have pictures as part of your presentation.
people who were not from the beginning, and I was not in a concentration camp. So you can see this is just a way to add to what might be a very interesting interview, but to add visuals that might make your audience kind of get what they're saying better. You don't know what kind of background your audience is going to have. So if you can add extra information, extra video, extra pictures to help paint that picture of whatever your documentary is going to be dealing with, it's going to be better for it. Now if you would like to add other things to your documentary, you're able to add audio down here. So if you had some background music you wanted to use, you could add that. If you want to add your own narration, you can do that as well. It is not a hard thing to do. Let's say I want to add a title. I can add a main title slide and put that right at the beginning. I'm going to drop that down. That pushes my video over. I'm going to adjust these video clips too, these pictures. So those pictures will go here. This little bit of video will go here. And this main title is going to be right here. Now it's defaulting at about six or seven seconds. If I want, I can add my own narration about this title. So I could be customizing this title. And this is a story of survival. So I'm just going to kind of come up with it as a, a quick title like that and click done. Now this is my beginning of this clip. Now what I can do here is I can click on the audio section down below and start a voiceover and I can record my own introduction. And I will turn on my microphone. And this story is a story of survival from Mr. Jaros as he survived the Nazi occupation of his country, Poland. So I save that. It's going to take a couple seconds for it to process and my audio shows up. I can see an icon for it down here under the voiceover track. I can also see up here it's just created a file. So this is actually saved. I can actually use this again. Another thing I can do with this is now I have a title. I have an introduction. I'm going to preview that. This story is a story of survival from Mr. Jaros as he survived the Nazi occupation of his country, Poland. So I can do a little bit of work to make that a little bit smoother. I can make the title slide a little bit longer so I don't jump right into the, uh, the speaker. Um, one of the other things we can do is we can actually label our speaker. So if I look at this clip, I can come over here. I, don't, I didn't want to edit it. I can come over and add a graphic. I can add one of these titles. So I'm going to name this title right here. I'm going to put it right on this track in between. Kind of save it for an effect. And what this effect is going to do, when I click Edit, is going to give me a chance to add a label for who's speaking. So to kind of tell people, if they didn't hear the introduction, they can see it up on the screen. click off of that. Now that effect is right here. I click done. So now when I go into my title slide, his personal experiences with you. Um, so. this will show up only for as long as you control it to. So right now it's set to stay there for about 10 seconds. Then it will vanish. So this is a great tool to start building your documentary. Now I've kind of just very rough put in these different pieces of media, but these are things that you can easily do to create a documentary. These should be all the things you really need to make it work. You have the ability to add a narration. You have the ability to add a title slide, add your interview or any of your uh, footage you take, plus any B-roll or other photos that you have for resources. Now there's also the different effects you can add. Um, at the end, there's a way to add at the end slide and also a credit slide at the end if you want to put that in there. But these are all the things you're going to need to make a good documentary.